Hey guys, I do myself here. Welcome back to the channel. And Apple has released iOS 14.5 Developer Beta 4. Yes, another beta today coming in at approximately 378 megabytes here on iPhone 12. And that's going to also depend on the device that you're updating and the beta that you're updating from. But that should be the size of the update uh, roughly, right? So the new beta has just been released for iOS 14.5. But aside from that, we also see iPad OS 14.5, of course, Beta 4 is here. The Watch OS 7.4 Beta 4 is here as well. And of course, TV OS 14.5 Beta 4 have all been released today. As per usual, Apple just updates most of their platforms all together. Now, we're expecting a release candidate here shortly, but there's two scenarios and two things that could happen this week that I've seen happen before and I wanted to explain to you guys. As you see there, this is beta four, but however, I've seen Apple in the past release a beta and then go straight to the official software release. So let's take a look here at the beta and the latest build number, which is 18E5178 and the letter A towards the end of the bill number. Now, when we see the letter A towards the end of the bill number, that usually signifies that we are pretty close to an official final release. Now, there's two things, as I mentioned, that could happen this week. Apple could release the beta four today, Monday the 15th, and then a release candidate later this week, right? So we could see two updates coming later this week. Sometimes Apple will release a beta on Monday and then another software later on Wednesday and Thursday as the RC release candidate, which is pretty much the official final release before the release next week. Now we're expecting a release next week and this is all rumors because as we know, if you've heard and you follow the Apple rumor mill, we know that Apple is expecting to hold an event on March 23rd and invitations could be going out as early as tomorrow. So here's where the second scenario comes into play. The second scenario could be that Apple just releases beta four today for registered developers and public beta testers does not release any more betas and releases an official software on the 23rd with a new product. Now, the reason this has happened before is because the RC is pretty much the official final release. So developers usually see it a week before the public, right? But that means if Apple has a new product in the pipeline that's tied directly to the software of 14.5, then that information would be leaked. So what happens often is that Apple will release a beta four or a beta five, and it's really a release candidate before the official release because they don't want to disclose any additional information in regards to any new products that may be tied directly to the software. And hopefully that makes sense. I've seen this happen before. Apple releases beta four or beta five, no release candidate, and then boom, the next week, an official release. But I've also seen, as I mentioned, Apple releasing beta, RC later in the week, and then official software. Now, it's been kind of interesting because Apple did release the items tab, and they haven't removed that from the beta. And this directly ties the software to a new Apple product, right? Because we can't really use it. If I click add items, there's no items to be attached. If I click identify items, I can't really identify anything. And if I click on learn more, it takes us to apple.com with nothing to show. So that's rather interesting there as well. Now, one minor different or one minor change that I've noticed so far is within the actual items tab. If you have Bluetooth turned off, this page here or this prompt here, this pop-up actually tells you to turn on Bluetooth. This looked kind of crippled the last time. It wasn't proper. So Apple has actually fixed the actual design to match the aesthetics of iOS. And that's just a minor change that I've noticed so far. One thing I do have to say, I've only had this software installed for about an hour and a half. And I don't know, I do feel just like the software is so fluent, like it's ready to go. It feels a lot snappier. Of course, I can't really determine everything just by having the software for about an hour, but I'm updating other devices, especially iPhone SE first generation, which has been struggling in the battery department. And I've tested multiple iPhone SE first generations and the battery still continues to be an issue. Hopefully beta four will address that. Stay tuned for my follow-up video because I'll be talking about the battery, any bug fixes, improvements, and all that good stuff for other devices. I've also updated iPhone 11 here, iPhone 8. Of course, I'm updating all of my devices to provide a follow-up video for you guys on iOS 14.5 developer beta four. And again, guys, 
as we can expect, maybe another RC later this week. If not, expect an official release sometime next week during Apple's event. So stay tuned here to the channel. Of course, my follow-up video will be here in the next couple of days shortly. If we don't get an RC, then we can pretty much expect the software to be released here in just a couple of weeks, maybe a week and a half at the latest right on the event or before the event. And there you guys have it. Just a quick update. Make sure to stay tuned here to the channel. Thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Peace.